Black Ice is an award-winning documentary exploring the untold stories of blacks in hockey, present and past. It takes us all the way back to the 1860s and a surprising connection to the black church. Academy and Emmy Award-nominated filmmaker Hubert Davis took Ephraim Graham inside the story. I'm skating down the ice. I see an object fly by me. I'm like, kind of, you know, what is that? I take a glance, I'm like, it's a banana. How did you come to the knowledge of, I guess, the history of racism in hockey and Black's enormous contribution to the game? You know, it was, it came through actually a producer approached me about the project. Whatever happens, we gotta put our head down and shut our mouth is what's wrong with our game. Akeem Alou claims that Flames head coach Bill Peters directed racist language at him. Hard stuff to talk about. Racism, but it's an ingrained in the game. Once you started hearing the stories, the more and more people that I would talk to in the, in the initial research, then the more and more information that would come out. And I realized, oh, like this isn't uh, an isolated, I think we often talk about these things as isolated. Oh, this was an isolated incident. This happened here, this happened here. And I thought the documentary was a chance to actually bring those stories together so we could get actually get the bigger picture of, of the problem uh, of, you know, anti-black racism in hockey. I had to keep my mouth shut and just move forward. It's a cultural problem within the sport of hockey that goes unchecked. It, I, I guess it, it hit me so hard just seeing the pervasiveness of it. Um, the fact that it not only extends to history, but when I see this young kid who wants to play hockey, I'm thinking, and you're still experiencing this? Yeah, it's it's that's what I thought was really important is in the film is that you do feel that it's present. This, we're talking about present times. This right. is, you know, these stories are happening currently. They're happening to, you know, quite young players that incidents are happening. Um, and so it, it, there, it needs to feel immediate because it is immediate. Meanwhile, 17,000 racist tweets were posted. It's meant for you to feel like you need to stay in your place. Well, this is our sport. We go all the way back to the 1800s in the Colored Hockey League. So don't let anybody ever tell you this is not your sport because this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, many elements I'd love to talk about. One is the surprising influence of the church. Yeah, really, what, it, what I discovered was um, it really it starts as a church league. So basically, um, you know, the church, I think, plays such an important part in the in the black experience. And so um, what it really starts as is the idea that the church is trying to gain, uh, you know, mobility and and more followers within the community and to really organize. And they realize through sport is one of the avenues to do that, to get, uh, you know, especially young men involved in the church and, and coming out and participating. So that's really where the league spawns from, is this uh, idea of different churches in different black communities on the East Coast of Canada. One of the interesting things about the Colored Hockey League, the innovation in terms of the sport. They had adopted the white rules and had a looseness in their interpretation of these rules. Phenomenal stories throughout. Was there anything that you could think of that you weren't able to include that you, looking back, boy, you know, if I could have, if there were more time, we would have seen? Yeah, there was a few things. Some of it was was content that I wanted to delve into more that I was interested in. Um, and then there were just more stories. You know, our story is really the beginning of hockey. We, we touch on Willie O'Ree and her Carnegie, like early pioneers, and then we kind of skip to the present players. But there, there's actually a long line of players through the 80s and the 70s. Um, but again, you just kind of run out of time and resources, and I guess you, you need like a, a series or something to, to cover all of that. But yeah, I, I think there's those stories are, are, are equally as important. What was the biggest surprise for you? I think I was surprised at the contribution, not just at the beginning of the Colored Hockey League, but all the way through. It has always been there. The Black presence of hockey has actually never gone away. It's just no one has spotlighted it in a way and, and celebrated it um, as, as much as it should have been. That said, now that the project is done, released to the world, what's your hope for this documentary? What, is there a hope for it? 
I think there's there's a couple things. One thing is I, I would like young people to um, who who might be pursuing it and and in that world to see see themselves and see other heroes and people that they can look up to. I think that was so important, like that they understand. Oh, like I'm not alone in this story. Um, I think that's that's really my hope, and I hope that they ha also. Um, have pride in knowing their involvement in the game and their contribution to something. I think um, that's so important, right? Like to understand there is a there is a rich history of the Black experience that kind of touches on all sorts of things that we don't think about. And you know, this film is talking about hockey, but really, you could take that into anything else. And you could dissect it and say, oh, what 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 is the black contribution in medicine? What is the black contribution, in, you know, in in trial anything? And so, um, I I hope there's that sense of pride at the end of it and understanding, um, and and also that to keep exploring that and and uncover more of those stories. My dream is that you can be yourself. I'm out here. Yeah, I'm black hockey player, and I'm gonna show you. I think it's really important that we reclaim our place in history. It's something we have to do for the younger generation coming up. Mm, what a powerful film. Black Ice is in theaters everywhere starting today.